What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is currently 31 degrees outside and I got me chipping on the bow. So all the winds just blowing into me. So you do 31 degrees and then factor in the wind chill in there. It's pretty rough. So laundry. Room's kind of a mess right now. Okay guys, so today's gonna be another little knowledgeable knot tying video. Um, this is the second knot that hands down you need to know. Um, being an AB and being this is my like fourth trick, fourth trip as a, or fourth contract as a deckhand. Um, my first knot that I showed you guys was the bowline. The second knot is gonna be the clove hitch. The bowline and the clove hitch are hands down the two knots that you need to know. The clove hitch is super easy. Um, it can actually be modified to turn into another knot, which makes it even more handier. But the clove hitch you will use for a lot of things. Um, <coughs> the thing about the clove hitch is, I'll show you guys in a sec, but it needs basically constant pull from both directions. So typically you're gonna tie the clove hitch to a rail or something and the rail acts as the pole from one direction where whatever you're tying on the other side acts as the other pole well as soon as that side becomes loose the clove hitch will come undone off the pole or whatever you've tied it to um, <coughs> a lot of the times like and an easy example would be if you're hanging something up like say you gotta hang a hose up or something on a, a rail you do one clove hitch you wrap it around the hose you do another clove hitch so both sides have a constant strain being pulled down by the hose um, I can't think of any other examples but the clove hitch like I said hands down between the clove hitch and the bowline you will use them nine times out of ten over any of the other knots um, just as a regular deckhand obviously you know I've only been working on the container ship but uh you know you get out there into other other areas of shipping then you're probably gonna use other knots but so far the most important two knots is bowling and clove hitch so I'm gonna get into that it's gonna be super quick super easy you guys will figure it out with ease so here we go so for easy purposes I'm just gonna do it to my uh, my chair rail right there um, so basically you're gonna take the knot right you're gonna go over and around over top of itself and around and then back up through and pull clove hitch I didn't pull enough through there but make it tight and like I said as long as there's a constant pull on this way it's not gonna come undone but as soon as this pole gives up the clove hitch will come undone um, so I'll do that again for you guys like I said you wrap it around, go over top of itself, and then up through. And that's what it should look like. You guys will notice it lays together with itself and wraps over. So basically, when you tuck it underneath, that's what gives it the lock there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's the clove hitch. So, I mean, as easy as it looks, a lot of guys still mess it up. Because like the bowline, there's gonna be times where you have to tie it sideways to something. Say you're not tying it directly onto a pole that's in front of you. The pole might be sideways. 
well you go to tie it this way and you might get mixed up just because you get so used to that tying it straight in front of you so practice it other ways um, also practice it going the other way I mean it'll work tying it basically the reverse you don't have to go over the right you can go over the left but that's the way it's taught so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe please like share uh, leave a comment down and below if you guys have any questions or um, you know want to see anything else this is actually I think the first time I've said leave a comment if you guys are curious about anything else so I'm out I hate when I catch myself saying stupid things <laughs> I just realized I said the pole like when you tie it to the pole and then it goes sideways the pole's already sideways if the pole is horizontal that's how you're usually doing it if the pole is vertical then it might mess you up when you go to tie it okay